Hello there, it's me, Rama, and I'm showing you how to use my Rama Save System plugin. And what I want to demonstrate today is how you can save and load the positions of actors that are dynamically placed in the world, such as making a large level uh, through user input, like an in-game level editor, or any other dynamically placed actors that got into their positions during runtime for one reason or another. The very first step is you need to load up my static functions for the save and load process. Now these nodes can be called from any blueprint. They can be called from anywhere in the entire editor. They can even be called from code too. Well, when you call these nodes, this is the core of the whole process. So we're going to save to file and we're going to say load. Alright, now these two nodes, um, they run statically as I mentioned, so they can run from any blueprint at all, and they call a save, pro they, they initiate a save process on every save component. Now the components are the core of my system. On any blueprint you can now add a component, once you have my plugin, you can add the Rama save component. So that component goes on any actor class you want, and then in the level editor over here, or anywhere, in your player controller, wherever you want to do it, you just run these two functions to initiate the entire save process. It's really simple, it's just two nodes. And you plug in a full file path that you want to save to. I'm going to use this file path. And I give you various kinds of output data, like whether there was a read and write error, like a file permissions error, or a device problem, or if there was a problem with the components themselves. And if both of these, if this is true, and if both of these are true, everything worked great. And then you can print out a little message to yourself. And that's it. That's how you initiate saving and loading. So now if I go in game, press page up, I see saved, press page down, I see load. However, I don't have any components in use. I think I, yeah, I deleted that one from my other demo. So let's now put one of these components on one of our blueprints. So this is my static mesh. It's just a simple static mesh that I place dynamically during runtime. going to add the Rama save component. So Rama save component, there I added the component. And just by doing only that, it's now going to save the positions and rotations of every actor that I place. So I'm going to press the K key a couple times. I actually set up a little blueprint thing to make the the randomization of these things. These, uh, I guess you could call them dynamic level geometry. So I've now placed a whole bunch. Now let's place a few more. I'm going to place a few in this corner over here, leading up to this corner. All right, let's get more in the corner itself. All right, so look carefully at the level geometry that's been placed. I'm going to get over here. I think I'll place one right here. <laughs> and then one right here. Alright, I've now placed a bunch of level geometry through human user input and now I'm gonna save that. So save. Now if I press load now you're not gonna notice anything but if I restart the level, ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Everything has been restored to exactly the way it was that I just created and that's just by putting the component on the static mesh actor class. You didn't have to do anything else except just that. Now I'm going to switch to a different player unit so that I can fly around better. Default pawn. Okay. Now in game, I'm going to place these with a little more accuracy. So I'm going to place one. Let's see one. There's some problem with the player input here. Oh, there it is. Oh, they were being placed too far away. All right. So there's a whole bunch in that corner. I'm going to place one there, one there, one there. Okay. And in this corner, only two. And in this corner, only one. I'm going to put one here, one here, one here. And let's put one, two, three. All right. So try to memorize this formation. One in that corner, three there, bunch in that corner, three in that corner, two in that corner and a whole bunch here. In fact, let's bombard just for fun. Let's make this a conglomeration. <laughs> Alright? Alright, now I'm going to save that state of the world. Restart level. In fact, you can exit. In fact, I could even close the editor. 
So I'm going to save the level, close the editor. Anyway, as I was just saying, I'm closing the editor and I've proven it. I actually restarted the video as well. had to pause it for a second. Now, I want to reload the, the editor. So this is, could also be in a package game. If you restart the entire game, shut your computer off, restart. I'm going to reload the whole state of the world because I'm saving to binary files. Where this file is saved is actually on my hard drive in a test directory, run the save test, and it's just called that. And it's very small file size. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in game. You just saw that I had to reload the whole... Oh, I'm also going to switch to a different player character. I want to go back. World settings. I want to go back to the... this one. Alright, so now I'm going to be back to being the red fellow again. And ready? Gonna load the game. One, two, three, go! There it is! After after closing the editor, stopping the video, restarting, as if I even restarted my computer, there it is. Remember the order? One in that corner, three up top, a bunch in that corner, three there, two there, and then that conglomeration. So that's saving and loading, and it's saving all the rotations and everything, the dynamic positions, rotation sizes, the whole transform of the actor. And so that is the very basic first step of saving and loading a fully uh, dynamically altered world, where you then want to reload the state of the world. Again, all I did was just add the component to this actor. That's all I did. <laughs> I didn't do anything else. I do everything else automatically for you in C++ code. But you can get fancy with it and customize the whole system. Then I talk about that in my next video.